Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. If this is your very first time on this channel, baby, you are in for a treat. Run on and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside that word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every single time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this great family. None of your problems, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like sharing, go, put it in. Coming like a share and don't put it in. Coming like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Coming like a share. Coming like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Coming like a share. Coming like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to come in like a share. Okay, y'all, check this out. We want to pray. We'll get into the goodness. Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? You guys today for the food. We've got us a seafood boil. That's what we got. You guys, we have got the crab claws, the snow crab claws. We've got some lemons. we got some black mussels. We've got some eggs. We've got some shrimp. we got some cucumbers. And if you would like your coast water bottle today, make sure you look at the description box. I put it way up in the top in blue. Put in the discount code LLIPS. Lips, that's me. Put that code in and that'll give you 10% off of your entire order. You guys, over here to the side. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. He got some Diet Coke in him. And baby, let's go ahead and see if it's nice refreshing. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, he is. Also, over to the side, I got my lips hot sauce. And if you like your bottle, make sure you look where in the top of the description box. It's also in blue. Right on the coast water bottle, you can get your lips hot sauce and your lips merch. Both in the same place. You guys, today I have got my Buffalo Wild Wings salt and vinegar. You get it from Buffalo Wild Wings because someone's going to ask me that in the comments. I am positive. You get it at Buffalo Wild Wings or you can order it from Amazon. Y'all, our first bite going to be these old tasty cucumbers. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm-hmm. Yep. All right, y'all. I got the assassins out today. It was in the freezer. I ain't had it in a while on the show anyway. So, let me set this down too. Oh, look a little ramped up there for you. Okay, yeah. I ain't had it in a while. It's been in the freezer. Mmm, 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 mmm. But I got it today. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and start with these little scramps. Let's get them started. Let's get it started right. Here we go, y'all. First bite. Ooh. With the sauce on, there you go. Mmm. 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 Hubby said they weren't good, but they're good to me. Some of the muscles is already out. You got the smell. I don't know what Hubby's talking about. That's good to me. And y'all know I don't normally eat, eat no whole lot of shrimp. I like shrimp. But I prefer shrimp fried than, you know, like that. Mm. I didn't know what I was going to eat today. But a dear friend to the show, Miss Muffin, Miss Muffin 82, uh huh, is at home mm, recovering. And she said for me to eat some seafood. So she can imagine she was eating it. So here you go, Miss Muffin. We love you. Mm -hmm. You know we do, baby. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm going to tell y'all we got some sausage too. We got some old sausages too. Mm. Oh, that's good. Y'all, this food is good. Yes, it is. Mm 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 mm. That is good. But out. Ah, uh, um, um, 
，哎、欸，嗯，嗯嗯嗯，嗯嗯嗯嗯，嗯 ，That's good。Yeah, it's good. Mmm. Now let's get these crap out. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, y'all. Ooh, this is sad to stop me. Give it to me, baby. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Press a little lemon on here. Ain't got no limes. Y'all know I prefer the limes. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Put some lip sauce sauce on these sausage sausages. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's something in my muscle. Look at here. What is that? I cannot eat that. No. Uh uh. Baby, come look at this. Oh, this is, uh, some insides. Oh, it was something in the inside of that muscle, y'all. <laughs> uh uh. No. I'm not eating that, honey. Uh uh. I'm not eating it. I'm glad I didn't spit my food before I put it in my mouth. Make this a nice thing. Make sure that it's clean. You hear me? So I bet that. Who ain't eat that anything? Mmm. Mmm. But they so good. They really are. They so good. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Y'all yeah, know this is the hubby's favorite thing, honey. One of them, seafood. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. So I ain't got to worry about trying to eat all this. Cause hubby got it. Mm. That is good. Yes, it is. That's so good. Like this, another scrimp. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how y'all doing today? How are you? I hope that you're doing well. I really, I really, really do. Mm -hmm. Y'all is coming. Uh oh. It's coming the time of the year where we got to break out our coat. Mm-hmm. I love this time of year. I think you can just dress better in the wintertime than you can in the summertime. Fall is my favorite, but I was talking to Sam the other day, and uh, she was talking about how cold it's getting. And I was telling her, me, myself, and I, Mm. So I would much rather be cold than hot. I would. When it's cold outside, you can put on extra layers of clothing and you can put on coats to keep yourself warm. But when it's hot, baby, you can't get around no air conditioning anywhere. Everywhere, I mean. You can't do that. Uh uh, and I cannot tell her. I can't get to think this better to be hot than cold. I hate it. I hate being hot. Mmm, mmm, that's good. Mmm, I would much rather be cold. It, it should be cold outside than for it to be hot any day. Plus, you can dress better when it's cold. You know, you can layer it. Wear your flannels and your plaid, you know. Put out your nice old jackets and scarves and things and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I'd much rather be cold and hot. But anywho, 
on our last video, many of you guys come into me and let me know that you had already done your early voting, that or either you had your a ballot that were mailing in. Y'all want business muscle. Mm. 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 I said a piece that ain't much. They'll give you no pee. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 These eggs, as long as they season, baby, they know they be busting. They be busting these boys. Mm. Mm -mm. I want to say thank you. On behalf of all American people for your vote. We really appreciate that. We really do. Well, I know I do. I appreciate it, honey. I surely do. But that's what I said we do, y'all, is to choose our leaders. That's our duty. That's what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That's what we're supposed to do, y'all. Go and vote and choose our leaders. Y'all want some of this crab claw? Here you go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't get your bite. That sounds good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm-hmm. Y'all did so good. Mm-hmm. 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 That's good. Oh, that's just good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. But anyhow, a lot of y'all said that you're Mm. Your polls or um, your um, date to go and vote was later in October, here in a few days. Let, let me know you're on top of it. Thank y'all. For real, y'all. We have got to make a change. We don't need that long for now, okay? Let's make sure y'all go and exercise your right to vote. It's very important. It's very important. This is one of the most important elections that we've had in a long time. Because, like I said with, uh, yesterday, we're in a pandemic. And we need leaders that's going to have our best interests at heart. Out there doing what they're doing for us. And that's what we need. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is good. I'm telling you, I don't know if you like sleeping or not. But well, if you do, you know what my taste buds is doing right now. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it's so good. I'm not kidding you, y'all. This is, I love, like, don't get me wrong now. Pig ears. A supreme or Super Supreme Pizza? Well, I would never be my favorite food. But I'm going to I love crab. Like, I eat the mussels. I eat the shrimp. You know, I eat those things. But, for me, Really and truly, my allurement for seafood is crab. Snow crab legs. I love king crab. I'm going to break some of them out the freezer. I'm going to eat some old king crab with here soon. But, snow crab legs, y'all, I have told this story before on some videos way back yonder. It's been a long time. So, let me tell you something. One time, hubby and I, and the baby, our niece, my sister-in-law, and my mother-in-law. No, no, no. And my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law. 
We all went to a casino in Robinsonville, Mississippi. We went there for the crab legs. We were going to gamble a little bit, but we went there for the crab legs. I had the all you can eat crab legs on for 1999. That's what we went there for. You know, we were still going to play a little bit, but we went there for the crab legs. We're going to be spending the night there. Y'all, we got there. And when we got there, the sign said, I saw it. The sign said, I saw it again. <laughs> you know what's up? Y'all thought and said you know you're on the right channel. I didn't say it, I didn't say it. Y'all, we got that sign said. What does it say? $30, $29.99. That's what it was. $29.99. And if I'm not mistaken, the baby was going to have to pay $19.99. That's what it was. Y'all know for y'all sell production. Don't eat $10 food. But I got to pay $30. I knew I was going to have me. And the baby, she had to pay $20. But all she likes is crab legs. She doesn't like any other seafood. She just doesn't. So, I was going to end up having to pay $80 plus tax for my family to eat at the casino. And I'm doing good and well. Ooh, that my husband and my daughter are not going to eat nothing. I was in a wheelchair at the time, wasn't I? I was still in a wheelchair. I was still on. I couldn't walk at the time. Honey, I had to roll, roll me up to that good table. Hubby, eventually after we start eating here, he was going. He wanted to go to the room. Baby was, was tired of sitting there. So I made friends with one of the ladies uh, that was a server. I had to, cause I paid eight dollars, and I said to myself, when I leave up out of here. I guarantee you, if I don't get out of my eight dollars worth, my head gonna show think that that I did, and my stomach too, y'all. This is no lie. Hubby can tell you I'm not lying. He's sitting right there, y'all. I sat in that place in my wheelchair and had them folks to bring me crab legs. You know, because I think they only bring you. They don't you get like three or four, like like three clusters, three, three clusters at a time, y'all. Let me tell you something. I sit there at that table, no lie, eating crab legs. What? By two hours? I don't know. We left. They left. Left me left in the restaurant. Went on play, gambled, got the kids in the room. I think even took them to the pool. I don't remember. But I sat there and ate crab legs for two hours. Non stop. This is no lie. As a matter of fact, not that I'm saying to do it, but two hours. Just about. I said they ate them crab legs. I ate so many crab legs. The man next to me. I had ate so many that the man next to me, y'all, this is so loud in Atlanta, y'all. The man next to me gave me a small pair of scissors so I could get into them better. I ain't lying. I'm eating them crab day, baby. Mm-hmm. Got him came here. I expected to spend twenty dollars, twenty dollars, and the child eat free. And I'd pay double. Alright. And not get no. I ate my money work. I sure did. Now crab legs is expensive anyway. You know, you buy them in the store. I mean, if you give me a good price, mine, or I get mine, those crabs are generally 15, 16, 99 a pound. It really a big cluster because they're bigger. There have been times when one cluster would be a whole pound. They ain't gonna lie. I haven't done it before. For real. Uh, so, it don't take a whole lot to eat your money's worth, but I know I eat my money's worth. Twice over. I ain't gonna lie. That's the truth, y'all. I ain't so many crab days that day, baby. 
Bring it home. Bring it home. Um, you guys, I was reading an article last night. And, um, re that was a sausage. Rihanna has been, has basically been placed on the list. I think it's with Forbes. Of one of the top five women in America to self-made women. Okay, let me say that again. One of the top five richest women in America that are self-made. That's how you say it. Kim Kardashian was on there. Kim Kardashian's mama was on there. Kim Kardashian's little sister, what's her name, Kylie, was on there. Uh-huh, I know all of them was on there. And Rihanna was there with them. Hey, congratulations, baby doll. I know you might not ever hear this. You might never see them. But you guys, I am always so proud. I don't care who it is. Now, I don't care what color you are. I like for people to do well in life. I pray for everybody. I want everybody to live out to their full potential. I truly, truly really do. And I thought that, that was amazing for Rihanna. You're going to be honored as such. I really, really did. That's a big thing. And each step that we make forward, each step that we make forward is a step in the right direction. It truly is. We have been oppressed pushed down, pushed to the side, you know, had to work under people that were less qualified than we have for so many years, for so many years, just so many years, y'all, that each step in the right direction is a step in the right direction. Each step forward. And, you know, I mean, the Rihanna's and uh, Will Smith's, the, um, What's the main name? Tyler Perry. The Tyler Perry's. I wouldn't think about him, but the Tyler Perry's. I was thinking about uh, Christy Teigen's husband. Dang. John Legend. The John Legends. You guys, because a lot of people, we don't look into things like we should. Tyler Perry just became a billionaire. And I'm going to tell you something. John Legend is one of the most respected and um, man of stature in the music world that you can get. But don't get no better than, you know, the rapport that he has in the music community. I think that's awesome. I mean, I do. You know, there's so many things are happening. Like, another example. Um... Tyra Banks is now the sole um, host of a, uh, Not America's Got Talent. She did that too, but she's the sole host on Dancing with the Stars. You know, things that are positive, not our people getting in those positions. They're making a fool out of themselves. You know, I just think it's so important that Ugh. to say to you that all small changes eventually make a big change. They do. Whether you're talking about your weight loss, whether you're talking about politics, whether you're talking about life, period. All small changes in the right direction ends up making big changes in the long run. It does, you guys. And it's the responsibility of us all to make those changes. Because if you can't change your own situation and you know that you should have or you could have or when you went wrong, teach your children, teach your nieces and nephews, teach your neighbor, teach anyone that will listen the better path to go so that we all, as a whole, as people, all of God's children, that we all move forward in the right direction. You know what I mean? To be kind to each other, not to be bigots and prejudiced and look down on people and treat people differently just because they're not you. You know what I'm saying? Um, we must have an eye 
The only thing that I miss, and the, probably the biggest things in the world, that, you know, people shun, I have. I'm black. I'm a male. I'm gay. Married to a man. You know what I'm saying? Chose to have offspring. I have a daughter. You know, people criticize me for everything about me all the time. But what I can tell you is that a long time ago when I was a little boy, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, I decided for my life, I wasn't going to be embarrassed about who I am. There's no one that's walking around embarrassed. Well, I guess there are some people, but they 85%, the norm don't walk around shame of who they are. And I wasn't going to be either. I was going to be me. And I was going to be me and allow you to respect and love me for who I am. Or push on, slide to the left, slide to the left, or you can slide to the right. It doesn't matter to me because I'm not going to walk around you. You're going to have to walk around me. God gave me the right to be respected, to be a person, and to be whom I am. And God loves me just like I am. So what I'm saying is to say, you guys, right now we are in the place where we can do something to change America. Even if it's just a small change, even if whoever it is that wins is just a little bit better than what they were or what the last one was. Or, you, you know what I'm trying to say, just a little bit better. Eventually will make big changes. Because now you've got to remember, you guys, at this point right now, we are building the world and the foundation of the world for our children, for the next generation and their grandchildren. And my thing is that if I can't do an effect change today, right now, I want to make it better for Pustay. I want to make it better for her. I want to make the world to be more accepting and more loving and more just better for her. I don't want her to have to go through the struggles that I went through in my life. I don't. And I think that we as adults, that's something that we forget a lot of times. The Bible says that we are here to teach love and create a storehouse. For our offspring. That's what we're supposed to do. And a lot of people forget that. They forget that, that the Bible says you are supposed to create a storehouse for the next generation. You're supposed to do that. You're not supposed to live your whole life being broke, busted, and disgusted and ain't got nothing for your children. That's not how it's supposed to be. Now don't get me wrong. God makes sure that we all have a road to travel. And they're all different. We all have different obstacles. And somebody got to be broke, busted, and disgusted. They have to. Somebody got to be that because God made it that way. But what I'm saying is that if I'm going to be broke, busted, and disgusted, I'm going to be broke, busted, and disgusted, proud of who I am, being who I am, and loving people and trying to treat them the right way. That's what I'm going to do. Y'all don't forget to vote. Don't forget to get up out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm sorry I went to ran and on, but I love you guys so, so much. And sometimes things just come out. I love you guys. I love you. 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 Don't forget you guys. If we can't, because a lot of you guys say in the comments, I'm not going to vote because it's not going to change anything. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And if you teach your offspring that way, how do you ever expect for it to change? Let me stop. Let me get off this talk box. I love you guys so, so much that I'm going to get up out of here, okay? I haven't got emotional about this thing, y'all. I love you. I love you. I love you. Time. My newly Jan. Thank you guys so much for being here. We love each and every one of you guys. We love you all. Okay? We love you. We really, really do because you couldn't chose to be anywhere else in the world. But you chose to be here with us. So we love you for it. Tom my existing legion. You know what's up. And y'all better go vote. Okay? I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to get up out of here. Hubby says bye. Bye. Bye-bye, you guys. We're going to see you guys next time. Miss Muffin, we hope you get so much better. We're praying for you and all of the legion. You guys pray for everybody in the prayer list. Don't forget to look at in the mirror and ask yourself how you treated yourself today and this week. And if you have a bright on somebody's day that's so important, make sure that you do that. Give somebody a phone call. Let them know you love them. Make them feel cozy in the inside. Now I'm finna go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Y'all, let me tell y'all what brought on this conversation. 
Somebody told me in the comments. I erased it. It's not there anymore. I did I erase it. But somebody told me in the comments. I remember her name. I'm just not going to say it because I'm not that type of person. But they told me that I should stop talking on my videos about trying to make people vote because nothing's going to change. That really got next to me. That got next to me because the only way to change things is the exercise I write that our forefathers have died for. That's the only way we're going to change it. I saw that, but it's not important right now. For real, y'all, y'all go vote. Too many people died for us not to utilize the rights that we have to vote, to try to change something. And I don't want you to feel that way because I want you to help me change things for my daughter. The same way I'm trying to help you change things for your child or your niece, your nephew, whoever it is. I love y'all and I'm finna go. But that made me mad. That made me mad. Because I would never come on here and say something to you that I felt like was wrong or that was hurtful to anyone. I would never do that. So for someone to say that I'm wrong, man, get on. I cannot deal with you. I done relax my wig. You land to me. Bye bye, y'all. I love y'all.